Welcome to Tay. I'm going to be unboxing the Ducky 1-2 Mini. Now, I've already opened it up and was able to test it. I was able to test it very nicely. It's a very good keyboard. Uh, stay tuned. Technology on motive and gaming. How pretty you watch. Look at Derry too. Whoa. Take your it. Okay, so first, as you can tell, I got red switches. So I'm gonna put it really close to the camera. There, red switches. Is it focusing? Yeah. Red switches. Um, let me open it up really quick. They have a very nice uh, box technique. First they have the one in there. They have one that goes in, and then the second one that opens it up. Here's the keyboard. I've already added a few things onto it, figure out what I like. It comes with a USB-C port, and it's very nice. It's a very nice uh, cable, but a couple things you can do. In the back here, there are switches. I mean, not switches, there are keycaps. You got car keycaps. Now, these keycaps are a bit weird, because instead of WASD, they have arrow keys. And I'll show what that looks like on here very soon. And it comes with a very nice keycap remover. Comes with a space bar. I put the other space bar here. And the keys. Now, here's what it looks like with the keys on. Put the keyboard out. Here's what it looks like with the custom ducky. Uh, Space bar. Here's the bad thing about it that really annoys me. See how like it's clear here? It's not clear here. You, you don't see the color through it. Not appealing. I feel like every video I've seen, they don't have the China key up here. They have the ducky key. So I'm not gonna put the ching chong key. I don't know what that is. So ducky does give you keycaps, as you can see, but the blue keycaps, I just the arrows, they just they just don't fit me. Also, when the lights are on, the the color doesn't go through the arrows as they do with the numbers and letters. So I prefer just to have the whole keyboard just set up with, with everything normal, with everything just normal colors, but the, the escape key, which I have as ducky key, and I switch it to ducky key, this one is one one. Now, the keyboard does come with one thing. I don't know its use, but it's this key. I don't, I mean, can't really see it. It is a diagonal key. It's meant to be put on diagonally. I don't know where it goes. There, I'm sure there's some computer, a bigger computer. It's probably meant for a bigger uh, keyboard, not computer. It's probably meant for a bigger keyboard. Go on the side, there's probably some button there. Probably some value. The Ducky 1-2 Mini weighs 590 grams. It is 32 point, I mean it's 30.2 centimeters long and it is 10.8 centimeters tall. Four centimeters high. It's a very small keyboard, you know, 60%. And couldn't find anything on the latency. Although I played with it, it is a very it's it's a very good game keyboard. So you could just assume that it has a very low latency. And yeah, the great specs. I personally played with it. I personally played with the keyboard a lot. Uh, it's very good for gaming because it has red switches. The red switches are not the best for typing. They're not the most comfortable for typing, at least in my opinion. The brown switches on my old keyboard are a lot more typing friendly. If you like, I don't know if you want a more comfortable keyboard for typing, you can get brown switches. Red switches, I'd say, would be more for gaming. Um, yeah, and then and then this keyboard has a very special feature where if you press the function key, there's many different things you can do. Now, the, as you can tell, it does not have arrow keys, but there are technically arrow keys. You press function key, the I, the J, K, and L are pretty much arrow keys. You just have to hold this and push them. It's not the most convenient, but it works. And there's a couple other cool things on here. You press the function key, you have all the, you have all of your F's, 
have one, two, three, four, all the way up to 12. And then something very interesting about this keyboard, very interesting. You press the function key, WASD can move the cursor on the on the screen around. You hold them and it moves your mouse cursor around. Now, I don't know why would you ever have to use this, but if you're ever on the go and you just happen to not have a mouse or a touchpad or anything, then yeah, I guess I guess you could use this. Or if you're using it on your phone, someone connects it to your phone, I guess that could be a thing that works. Um, yeah, there's a lot of weird things on here. You have your volume settings, you have all of this, you have your home key, everything's on here. So don't have to worry about losing all your, all the keys that you would normally have on a 100% keyboard because this keyboard's dual, it's dual, it's dual used. You could, every key has another function, well most keys. So I like this keyboard a lot. It's very comfortable, it's a very great keyboard. I'd say it's one of the best on the market. In the, it's not the best. At one point, it was very great. It's kind of come down through time, but if you if you want a keyboard for gaming, this could get you anywhere. You are good enough with this keyboard. It is great. It has all these extra functions, all these extra things you can do. Nice, nice thing. You know, really nice to play games on. And yeah, Tay, you're it. I need some coffee.